So I'm about to be collected, picked up and driven around by somebody who I don't know. Um, Should I be worried now at this point? Probably. Place? I probably could improve a little bit. So. Do I need to phone my wife and just let her know or are we okay? <laughs> so. So is, this, um, is this your neck of the woods now? It is. Well, I grew up in Dokey. Um, Did you? Lived here for 17 years. So up and down this street many times. But we actually moved out to Enniskerry and, um, when I was 18. So, so am, I, am I okay now being a north sider? I mean, do I need to see somebody about getting did, something stamped? Did you bring your here? passport? I did, yeah, I did. Yeah, well, I think you'll be okay then. Go for local, see the local guard, too. <laughs> so how's married life treating you? Married life is great. So. Is it the best thing you've ever done? Uh, yeah, I suppose so. Oh, she hesitated. <laughs> she hesitated. Wes, there was a little hesitation there. It is, of course. I don't books. want to give him a big head. No, true. No, in fairness. <laughs> But at the moment, I'm focusing on the books mm. and seeing kind of, you know, where, where that brings me. People don't realise it is a ferocious amount of work, and particularly with it's a cookbook. It's full book, on. Because you design all, people would say, ah, she didn't even write that herself. No, I, I can tell you now, Let's dispel I that myth right now. write every single word of that book. Um, so it is. So the first half, literally the first 60,000 words I wrote are all about um, my, my story. You know, I've struggled with my weight in, in the past and, you know, very much had to... Now, people will look at you and go, ah, would you give over? You've struggled with your weight? Absolutely. But I... do you think there's too much pressure on girls? There is. Girls, well, girls put huge amounts of pressure on themselves. And one of the main messages I try to say as much as I possibly can is, you know, we all use social media. Mm -hmm. Some more than others have to get you on Instagram. I know, I know. <laughs> yes, yeah, whatever that is. But there's so much pressure placed on people, and social media can be great in so many different ways. But I think it makes us compare our lives to others, our bodies, our looks to other people, and that can lead to a lot of, you know, feelings of, you know, sadness and inadequacy, inadequacy and you know, feeling like maybe you haven't achieved as much as you want to. You know, I think it's really important in the public eye to, you know, put across um, the message that. You know, life isn't as perfect as it seems on mm -hmm. social media, and it never is. Um, mm. You know, only a few weeks ago, I my face blew up like a balloon, and I had for to what? get an emergency root canal. What was your teeth? Um, yeah, so it was from did a you post pictures crack of, that? of my tooth. I didn't, and now I'm thinking I did take the pictures, but now I'm thinking, oh, maybe I should have just to show. You know, I'm a real person. My life is real. That's that the... where I grew up. Oh. Look. At so that. many happy memories. Ah, look. Oh. Lots of time running around that garden. Yeah. Chasing dogs, because I presume Yeah, we had a there. dog. We had a lovely black Labrador. Got so apart head. from being um, an author, an author, two books now. Two books, yeah. So Eat Yourself Beautiful was last year. Can, and can I eat myself beautiful? Obviously you have. <laughs> you're glowing. Listen, listen, I'm glowing, yeah. I think that's the drink. It's a very funky interior. It's got sort of a vintage feel as well. But they're gorgeous cars. Yeah, they really are. But they feel so fast. kind of sturdy. Yeah, it goes fast enough. It's zippy enough. Absolutely. But I love the fact that there's so much space um, in the boot as well. I mean, I can fit two friends or two dogs. Or two dogs in there. Depending on who wants to travel. Um, <laughs> the dogs don't give out about my driving though, so that's no, one No, they just sit there and get bounced down the back and bruised. God bless <laughs> yeah. them. What's the famous pub in Dockey? Um, the what? Queen's. Yeah, is that or Finnegan's is another what one. Would have been Bono's your... always in Finnegan's. Is he? Um, would he be I there now? The, would we drop uh, in? He could be, yeah. Do you think pints are in him? Do you think his bike could be parked outside? Or? Could that be. That could be him. That could be him. That could be him. Yeah. Jesus. He gave us a bit of a wave there. Yeah, I'm sure short of been getting beeped on this little trip. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Try to talk to you all day. Oh, it's a pity I have to boot you out. I have, have to you? go to an important meeting with my publisher now. But and it's you're just going to chuck me out good the chatting. Of the Oh, literally, yeah. You can find your own way home now, Simon. You know, I live in Lusk, by the way, which is about what, an hour and a half by oh. phone from here. Plenty of uh, public transport around. Take care. Out you go. Don't have all day. Thanks, Rosanna. <laughs> Best look at the book. See ya. Thanks. Bye. And there she goes, off into the sunset. Rosanna Davison. I'm going to get the train. Volkswagen.